Doink the Clown as the name and persona originated by professional wrestler Matt Osborne in the World Wrestling Federation and used there from 1992 to 1996, and sporadically thereafter. After Osborne left the WWF in late 1993, the character was played by several wrestlers, both in the WWF and elsewhere. Osborne continued to sporadically perform as Doink until six months before his death in June 2013. History equals World Wrestling Federation equals Former WWE producer Bruce Pritchard said in an interview on the Steve Austin show that Michael Hagstrand had originally conceived the idea of a miserable clown character. After making appearances in late 1992 in the crowd and at ringside, playing tricks on the fans and wrestlers, the Doink character made his in-ring debut in the WWF in 1993, originally wrestling as a technically sound heel. Doink played cruel jokes on both fans and wrestlers in order to amuse himself and put them off guard. Some of his villainous pranks included tripping the big boss man with a tripwire, dumping water on Marty Giannetti and attacking Crush with a loaded prosthetic arm. He clashed with Crush at WrestleMania 9, a match which he won after the appearance of an identical Doink from underneath the ring. Doink also briefly feuded with Randy Savage on an early edition of Monday Night Raw, and Bret Hart, after substituting for Jerry Lawler, who faked an injury, at SummerSlam in 1993. Doink then turned on Lawler on the September 4 episode of WWF Wrestling Challenge in Lawler's The King's Court segment, making Burger King jokes to amuse the crowd and eventually emptied a bucket of water over Lawler. Matt Osborne, the original man behind Doink, was fired for reoccurring drug abuses, eventually leaving the gimmick to Ray Liashelli. Now as a fan favorite and with a new midget sidekick Dink, Doink was more of a comic relief character, but continued to pull pranks on other wrestlers, mostly on heels like Lola and Bobby Hienen. Doink and Dink also battled with Bam Bam Bigelow and Luna Vaken in a feud that culminated at WrestleMania X. Doink would later encounter Jerry Lawler again in a match at Survivor Series. In this match, Doink and Dink teamed with Wink and Pink to meet Lawler's dwarf team of Little King's Queasy. Cheesy, and sleazy. Eventually, Doink soon became a jobber, regularly losing to wrestlers like Jeff Jarrett, Hokushi, Waylon Mercy, and, in his final televised match in September 1995, to Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Doink re emerged one last time in 1997 at the Slammy Awards and was attacked by Stone Cold Steve Austin, amidst crowd chants of Kill the Clown. Doink is a playable character in Acclaim's 1994 video game, WWF Raw, and Midway's WWF WrestleMania, the arcade game. Equals Extreme Championship Wrestling Equals, following his departure from the WWF, Osborne appeared in Extreme Championship Wrestling for several matches as Doink in a blue and green clown suit, setting up an angle where ECW champion Shane Douglas criticized Vince McMahon for turning a talented wrestler like Bourne into a comic relief character, and claimed that he knew how to bring out Bourne's full potential. Bourne then made a few appearances with Douglas as himself, sporting his face half-painted with a doe ink makeup. His attitude insinuated that he had developed borderline personality disorder from having been forced to wrestle as a clown. After winning matches he would dress his opponent in clown accessories to humiliate them. His ring name under this gimmick was Born Again. Equals World Wrestling Entertainment Equals, since 1996, Doink has appeared sporadically in WWE. Matt Osborne played him in the gimmick Battle Royal at WrestleMania X7. On December 10, 2007, he participated in a battle royal of 15 WWE alumni for the Raw 15th anniversary special episode. Chris Jericho dressed as Doink when he attacked William Regal on the March 26, 2001 Raw. Played by Nick Dinsmore, he showed up in the APA Barroom Brawl at Vengeance in 2003. He was selected by Rhino to face Chris Benoit on the July 31, 2003 SmackDown. Played by Steve Lombardi, he wrestled Rob Conway on an October 2005 episode of Raw. On June 2, 2007, Doink, Eugene and Kane defeated Umaga, Viscera and Kevin Thorne on the 34th edition of Saturday Night's main event. On the July 12, 2010 Raw, Doink teamed with William Regal, Primo and Zack Ryder to lose to Santino Morella, 
Skoldust, Vladimir Kozlov and the Great Kali, when he was pinned by Kali. On the July 2, 2012 Raw, he made a surprise return and lost to Heath Slater. He reappeared on July 23, alongside several other WWE alumni, to help Lita take down Slater on WWE Raw 1000, the 1000th episode of Raw. Equals Independent Circuit Equals, in early 2010. Osborne reinvented the Doing character to resemble Heath Ledger's portrayal of the Joker in The Dark Knight, nicknaming the incarnation Reborn Again. The new character debuted on March 27 for ISPW in New Jersey. On May 23, 2010, Doing the Clown, portrayed by Dusty Wolf, interfered against Skander Akbar and his men Dr. Knuckles and Rommel. This caused them to lose the Wrecking Ball Wrestling Tag Titles. In retaliation Akbar called on the original Doink Matt Bourne. Wolf and Bourne were scheduled to meet on August 15, 2010. Wolf would later no-show the event. On August 8, 2010, Bourne, as Doink the Clown, won the Wrecking Ball Wrestling Championship. On May 30, 2015, at Magnum Pro's Over the Top event in Omaha, Nebraska, Doink participated in an Over the Top Battle Royal. Doink debuted on July 28, 15 and was portrayed by Dashing Draven. Draven used Doink to defeat King Sabotage in his debut to win the SCW Internet title in Ravenna, Ohio and then used him to win the Internet title two more times then won the SCW World title twice defeating Kane the Monster and Steve Jetson. Doink defeated Internet champion Mini Extreme to win his fourth title. At SCW Heat, Hallowick birthday bash he will defend his title against Mini Extreme. This is Mini Extreme's birthday present from Doink, this will also be a Halloween birthday street fight. Incarnations Equals wrestlers who used the Doink gimmick equals, eight men have officially used the Doink gimmick. Six wrestlers have used the costume for storyline purposes, at various times. Matt Osborne a Euro the original Doink left WWF in December 1993, died June 28, 2013. Steve Kern a Euro wrestled as the Illusion Doink at WrestleMania 9 and occasionally the real Doink at house shows. Steve Lombardi a Euro occasionally wrestled as Doink at house shows and dresses as Doink for various WWE appearances. Dusty Wolf a Euro wrestled as Doink in the NWA and other indie promotions. John Alpha Euro wrestled as Doink full-time after Osborne left the WWF. Ray Apollo a Euro also wrestled as Doink in WWF after Osborne left. Mike Moraldo wrestled Scotty Flamingo as Doink on a Smoky Mountain wrestling card in November 1994. Nick Densmore a Euro wrestled as Doink on the July 31, 2003 episode of SmackDown. Losing to Chris Benoit equals wrestlers who use Doink's costume for storyline purposes equals, Jeff Jarrett once dressed up as Doink to pull pranks on Dink. Men on a Mission and the Bushwhackers wrestled as the four Doinks at the 1993 Survivor Series. Chris Jericho took on the persona of Doink in order to perform an ambush on William Regal. In wrestling. Finishing moves, stump puller, whoopee cushion. Signature moves. DDT. Entrance music, Clown by Jim Johnston, Nightmare Clown by Jim Johnston. Championships and Accomplishments, Allied Powers Wrestling Federation, APWF Television Championship. International Wrestling Association, IWA United States Heavyweight Championship. Super Championship Wrestling Ohio, SCW Internet Championship, SCW Heavyweight Championship. NWA Southwest. NWA Southwest Television Championship. Pro Wrestling Illustrated, PWI ranked him number 26 of the top 500 singles wrestlers in the PWI 500 in 1992. Regional Championship Wrestling, RCW United States Tag Team Championship, with Jay Love. Wrecking Ball Wrestling, WBW Heavyweight Championship. Wrestling Observer Newsletter Awards, Most Embarrassing Wrestler, Worst Feud of the Year vs. Jerry Lawler, Worst Worked Match of the Year with Dink, Pink and Wink vs. Jerry Lawler, Sleazy, Queasy and Cheesy at Survivor Series. Notes. External links. Doink at OWW, Doink's WWE alumni profile, 
Doe Inc. at the Internet Movie Database, Thao Show Episode 157 Matt Osborne Doe Inc. The Clown Interview